Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Dito sa video natin ngayon ay kikilalanin natin ang mga nangunguna sa apat na malalaking kategory ng competition ng Miss Universe Philippines 2024. Ang mga kategory ay National Costume Competition, Swimsuit Challenge, Hello Glow Runway Show, and Up Close and Personal Interview. Sa unang kategory, National Costume Competition. Sa ginanap na National Costume Competition sa Sultan Kudarat noong April 28, 2024, Nagwagi nga itong si Janet Hammond ng Southern California, si Alexi May Brooks ng Iloilo at si Tamara O'Share ng Tacloban. Kahangahanga naman talaga ang kanilang mga kasuotan. Ito ay nagdala ng tuwa sa mga manunood at pati na rin sa mga hurado. Ang second category ay ang Swimsuit Challenge. Meet the top 5 winners of Miss Universe Philippines Swimsuit Challenge held at Aqua Boracay on April 20, 2024. The winners were determined purely by votes. The top winner in every challenge will get an automatic spot at the finals. So ito yung top 5 via fan votes. Si Dia Mate of Cavite, Patricia Bianca Tapia of Hawaii, Alexi May Brooks of Iloilo, Atisa Manalo of Quezon Province, at si Jet Hammond of Southern California. Sa Swimsuit Challenge, ang top 5 finalist ay nagpakita ng kahusayan at kumpiyansa sa runway. Pinatunayan ang kanilang ganda at pati na rin ang confidence.
Ang next category ay ang Miss Hello Glow na ginanap noong April 3, 2024 sa SM North EDSA. Ang mga nanalo dito, si Miss Quezon Province, Maria Atisa Manalo, si, si Miss Iluilo, Alexi Brooks, Miss Pampanga, Cyril Payumo, Miss Baguio, Tara Valencia, Miss Bacoor, Victoria Velasquez Vincent, and si Miss Lukban, Ricky De La Peña. Sa Miss Hello Glow competition, ang top 6 finalists ay nagningning sa kanilang kagandahan at personalidad, kung saan sila ay nagbibigay liwanag sa bawat yugto ng competition. At ang last category ay ang Up Close and Personal Interview. Ang top 5 winners ay si Hawaii, si Iloilo, si Quirino, Quezon Province, at si Tagig. Talaga namang ang mga kandidata ng Miss Universe Philippines 2024 ay puno ng talento, ganda, at dedikasyon. Sa apat na malalaking event ng Miss Universe Philippines 2024, si Alexi May Brooks ay laging nangingibabaw, palaging panalo. At huwag din natin kalimutan si Miss Southern California sa dalawang event na nalo din siya. At kung nagustuhan ninyo ang video natin ngayon, huwag kalimutang i-like at mag-subscribe sa ating channel. para updated sa ating next video. Maaari ding mag-iwan ng komento para ipakita ang suporta natin sa mga kandidata ng Miss Universe Philippines 2024. On top of my bucket list is really just visiting every part of the country and the world once so that I can really see what everyone's like and how we are all one and what makes, you know, the world go round. There is something that I really hold near and dear to my heart and that's being born with a hearing impairment and it really impacted my life in a positive way actually and I really want to continue fighting for people with disabilities. Well, if people don't like my too charming of a personality then probably that but it's something that I want to continue because it really showcases my true self. <laughs> Well, on the top of my bucket list actually this year is to win the Miss Universe crown because I really want to help a lot of people, especially on my back in Iloilo. The women in there really want to give back to these people. So in the top of my bucket list right now is the Miss Universe crown. Because I come up so strong and I have this very edgy look and all. So people would always think that I'm like intimidating or I have attitude and all that. But then if you're like a close friend of mine, you'd really know that I'm just like a soft person and I love to be like laughing and jolly around. I don't think that there's anything that I want to change about my personality. I know that, you know, you act the way you do because of specific reason and happening. And as much as people would always tell you na palitan mo yan, wag mong gawin yan, but if it work, works out for you, then you just do you, you be confident. The thing that I re was really excited to do last year was to visit my father in Finland. I have never met him in person and I was really excited to do that. But unfortunately, circumstances I wasn't able to. But that's something that is still on top of my bucket list right now. Hmm. I don't know if I want everyone to know about it, but I want everyone to think that I'm funny. I think when someone is funny, I think that they're intelligent. And I really appreciate it when people can make other people laugh. <laughs> hmm. That's tough. I know it sounds cliche, but I don't want to change anything about my personality. But if there's really something that I have to change, it would be my overthinking. I tend to think about a lot of things for a long time, especially if I really care about it. So if I can remove that aspect of my life, I think I'd be better off without it. On top of my bucket list is travel the Philippines, all of the provinces of the Philippines. That is one of the my bucket list. Um, I am a mother of three. And aside from that, I always wanted to share the beauty of the Philippines to my children and of course to my followers on Instagram and social media. Um, if there's something I would like to change is that I cry so easily. Every time I say my past, I always get to be emotional. And that is something I wanted to be strong and 
I wanted to be strong with that past that I have. Wow, something on top of my bucket list would definitely be going to South Africa and to Portugal and Spain. I love to travel, and those are just a couple of countries that I have not yet visited. I would love everyone to know that I'm someone that's down to earth, easy to approach, easy to communicate with, and easy to be your friend. Well, if I were to be transparent with you, something that I would probably like to change is the fact that I may sometimes be a little bit hard on myself. I consider myself really competitive, but at the same time, I try to use that as a personal drive to continue my ambitious spirit.